This is a recipe for what we call prairie dog potatoes. I'm not sure if you would really call them au gratin potatoes or scallop potatoes. Because scallop potatoes use milk, au gratin potatoes use cheese, and we're using milk and cheese both, so take your pick. The ingredients for what we call prairie dog potatoes are three good sized potatoes, about a quarter cup or so of milk, a little bit of flour, a pound or so of ham. We bought the cube stuff because after all we're camping and it's just easier to do. An onion that we've already diced and again uh, one of our favorite ingredients for everything is some cheese and a dash of salt and pepper. Okay now we got the potatoes peeled and uh, as I peeled them we just threw them in the uh, the uh, um, Dutch oven and we didn't even peel them. I mean you can peel them if you want or you know here again this is campground cooking so you know you don't want to take any more time than you have to uh, one of the uh, things about potatoes is if you peel them as thin as you can they'll cook faster so how long this is going to take basically depends on how thick the potatoes are and we're using a chef knife to uh, to do that so one of the things that we're using though is we found these cool pair of Camco scissors and they got everything from a fish scaler to a pair of scissors to a, uh, I guess that's a bottle opener, a screwdriver, um, like a lid opener. I don't know. It's got a whole bunch of different things. Kind of a neat little handy tool. And we're just going to use that to cut these packages open like that. We're going to put our milk in. Again, this is about, I don't know, a quarter to a half cup. We don't measure. Just something that looks uh, good. Just enough to kind of cover the bottom of it a little bit. And then to that, we add uh, a little bit of our, uh, uh, what is that? That's uh, flour. Uh, add a little flour to it. Not a, not, doesn't need to be a whole lot. And then to that, then we add our onions. And then a uh, uh, little bit of ham. Again, we're using about a pound of ham. Comes in two individual packages, just like that. And if you lose any ham over the side, then you got a free snack while you're making it. And then just a little dash of salt and pepper. Some salt, a little pepper. Now. We can stir this thing by hand, which we want to stir it up a little bit. But here's the camper secret. If you put the top on it, and then you know, want to take it outside, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just shake the daylights out of this. But you want to do it outside so you don't spill anything. So I'm going to shake the daylights out of it and then come back. Okay, now after we're back shaking, it just looks like that. Now, if you have too much in here, you may not get a get the stuff mixed up good enough even when you shake it. So if you got too much in here you're gonna have to probably take it out of a bowl and kind of do that. So uh, we're gonna kind of just uh, try to fill any low spots here like that to try to even it out and then we're gonna put the cheese on it. And this stuff will compress a little bit as it cooks you know, it, it'll kind of find its own level. And then we may leave a little bit of cheese left over uh, for uh, when we're done. We'll just garnish it a little bit on top again with the cheese. So now we're just going to, again, try to level it out a little bit. Maybe kind of help push it down a little bit. There we go. Top goes on. As long as the top fits, it's okay. So now into the oven or over the campfire, whichever you uh, desire. And uh, actually this time we're going to put it on the campfire on some coals. Okay, so the first step is kind of spread the coals out a little bit. Like that. So you're going to have to have a, some kind of a utensil for that. And then i got to get my leather gloves on. And again, this is uh, some of the stuff you actually need. Otherwise, you're going to burn yourself. You basically just set it on there like that. 
and then uh, just, uh, you know, inspect it every once in a while. When the potatoes, when you put a fork in them and they feel soft, then uh, it's all done. Well, here we go. Prairie dog potatoes. Ready to eat. Prairie dog potatoes. Looking good. <laughs>